Hi all, I'm Abhishek V. So, I was secured uh, rank 4 in uh, KPSC Provisional's examination um, and uh, I've been assigned the post of Assistant Commissioner in Revenue Department. Okay, today I'm here at An Academy to share my whole journey and uh, to share my book list, my strategy that I followed in this examination. Okay, so let me start about uh, starting from um, about myself. Okay, so I studied in uh, JSS Public School in Bangalore. Uh, then I did my 11th and 12th from Ramakrishna Vidyashala. So being a smart student in studies, all, all, along with studies, uh, I was good in all the other co-curricular activities. I used to perform in the dance, drama and other sporting events as well. Here in the slide you can uh, see, watch me live performing in a drama. Okay. Then uh, I went to NITK Suratkal which is one of the premier uh, engineering colleges in India. So I, I have my, I have a uh, BTEC degree holder in computer engineering. So after that, in my second year, second year, I did a summer research internship from IIT Mad. I did a software engineering internship from Endeavor, a startup in India, in Bangalore. Uh, then in my final year, I presented a uh, research paper um, in Vietnam. So this was a part of my uh, ma major uh, project. Uh, so this got published in the Springer Journal. So after that, I got uh, placed in two reputed software companies, the Mac software as well as in Visa. I chose going to Visa. So uh, during my tenure in Visa, I worked as a software engineer, both in Bangalore as well as uh, in Bellevue. So during my uh, visit to US, I also visited the Microsoft headquarters. Okay. So this is pretty much about myself. And then as, a, as they say, a journey of a thousand miles starts from a single step. I quit my job. And then uh, started pursuing for the civil services examination. I took up the case as well as the UPSC examination. Okay, so this is pretty much about myself. So after this, I'll be discussing the different stages of this examination. Uh, what is this examination, and uh, what are the different stages? What is the nature of each of these stages? Then uh, after that, I'll be uh, going into the book list that I followed. Then the strategy that I followed for each of this step. Okay, and what all you guys can do. To make the best use of this strategy okay so let's begin so uh, i was thinking in what way i can uh, give, send out my message in such a way that uh, you guys can remember the strategy for a long period of time so what i thought was uh, let i decided to divide these three phases into uh, three different cricketers names because cricket in india is seen as a religion okay and uh, you can find it very relevant even in this preparation phase so three stages, say stage one, stage two, stage three. I named it as Sachin's phase, Virat phase, and MS Dhoni phase. Okay. So let's begin. Uh, let's begin with the first phase, that is the Sachin phase. Okay. I would also call this phase as preparation phase. Okay. Because it deals with the preparation for this examination. Okay. So uh, for beginning, you need to understand what is this examination all about. What are the different stages that are there in the examination? Okay. That is the most important thing that you need to keep yourself that you need to know before attending this examination okay so this examination spans out of three different phases the prelims mains and the interview i'll be explaining details about the three different stages okay now so let's start with the prelim stage okay so this prelims examination is objective in nature which means you are expected to solve the mcqs okay and you'll be having two different papers okay gs1 and gs2 and uh, since these are in objective nature, you'll be given 100 uh, questions in each of this paper. So you'll have to solve 200 MCQs in total, okay? So your total score will be out of 400, okay? And there will be negative marking in this stage. So you have to be careful while marking the MCQs, okay? So uh, when I told, uh, okay, so there is a very well-defined uh, syllabus for this. So know the syllabus, know the cutoff, uh, KPSC or UPSC, they'll be uh, giving uh, the cutoff from the previous examination on the website. So download the syllabus, download the know the cutoff. So this will uh, make you aware of how much exactly you need to score in this examination to go to the next stage. Okay, and uh, the best source of information about how the paper will be is to looking out it through the previous year question papers. So these are the best resources. Once you have done all these things, uh, start solving uh, test series. These could be paid ones or the ones that were freely available in the market. But make sure that you have solve ample number of test series. Okay. Then uh, focus on uh, schemes that are related to Karnataka as well as uh, the national level schemes, the flagship schemes. 
the best source for this is the economic survey of both the Karnataka stage as well as the economic survey of India. So this is pretty much about the prelims paper. So know the syllabus in and out, know the cutoff, prepare accordingly and propel yourself to reach the cutoff or crossing that. Once you are done well in the prelims, you will be going to the next stage that is the mains and then subsequently the interview stage. Okay. So this paper, uh, the scores in the prelims examination won't be considered for the final uh, your final score, but it's very important to cross this stage. Okay. So this is pretty much about the prelims stage. Okay. Then coming to the mains examination. So this is the most important component that will decide your rank, your uh, scores and the position that you get through. Okay. So this means paper unlike the prelims paper is subjective in nature when i say subjective you are expected to write essay type answers or long, long answer types okay unlike solving mcqs in the prelim stage okay so there are different papers that are there in the mains examination okay so let me start with the compulsory language paper so you're expected to take two compulsory language paper one in english other one in Canada. okay uh, in both this paper you are expected to solve uh, uh, solve, solve this paper, there will be questions based on your the grammar, there will be uh, essays that you are supposed to write, there will be letter writing, then uh, coming to Kannada, Gade Matan the Hiltare, Gade Matna new explain Madbeko, Amel Prabandha na Baribeko, letter na Baribeko, either Jotege, Nimke conversion irata, Andre, English to Kannada, Mate Kannada dinda in English ke convert Madbeka irata. Okay na? So there are two languages, uh, one is English, other is Kannada. So once you solve bo, uh, solve well and do well in this exam uh, in these two papers, uh, both these papers are for 150 marks. So you need to get a minimum of 53 or 54 marks. So, uh, once you are done with this, this course in this paper won't be counted for your uh, total. So these th this paper is just qualifying nature, so that you qualify for the next stage. Okay. Then coming to the next part. Okay. Uh, next there are uh, seven papers. That is uh, four general studies paper, optional paper of two. Uh, two optional papers that makes it six as well as one essay paper so uh, let's go into each of the stages and see what exactly each stage is and what is required from you or expected from you okay so let's start with the first paper that is the essay paper okay so this essay paper is of 250 marks okay so uh, and you are expected to write two essays they would have given eight topics in total out of these eight topics you are expected to write two okay so there will be two questions in the first question you will be given four topics and the second question you will be given four topics you have to choose one topic in each of the subsections and answer okay so in this stage the most important thing is writing uh, choosing the right topic or the right question okay once you have chosen the right topic the battle is half won there okay so choose the right topic in which you are you have good amount of knowledge wherein you have good amount of flow as well that you can carry throughout writing the essay okay so choose the right topic plan okay the second stage is planning okay as soon as you get the paper you're not supposed to write go on writing the essay okay you need to plan so the first 15 to 20 minutes for each of this essay you need to plan how you're going to write the essay okay you can use the rough sheets you can uh, plan how you're going to write the essay how you're going to structure it what all things you can you are going to add it and what are different perspectives or different uh, topics uh, related you can bring into that okay then the next stage is implementation that is in the next two and a half hours or two hours how well you will be writing the essays that you have planned okay and uh, the most important part what is expected in this paper is not the knowledge part okay in this paper they will be looking out in the, for the flow of the flow of the essay so your language skills your vocabulary all these things will play a very important role in deciding your essay marks okay so since I told there will be two essays, focus, give impo, equal, equal importance to uh, try to answer all the components of the essay topic, okay. It could be from historical perspective, it could be from geographical perspective, it could be from the economic perspective and uh, you can also answer them at different levels, that is the state or the local level, the national level and be even bring in international examples to support your viewpoints, okay. So make sure that you have the right flow. There has to be a connection between each para that you write, okay. The first para should be related to your second para and subsequently, okay. So once you have a good flow, uh, once you have reached all the topics, once you have dug deeper into this topic, you will be getting a very good score, okay. So this is pretty much with respect to the essay paper.